Can you hear me well? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. Can you see me? Yeah. Nice. So welcome back to our class. Bruce, how are you today? Um, uh, I think it's great. Okay, good to know, Bruce. So what did you do today? Uh, in this day, I draw a picture. Uh, in this day, I think I have a high headache. My head is so hard. Oh, yes. Maybe you just need to drink more water or, yeah, maybe that is because it was so hot earlier and you're not hydrated. Just stay hydrated. Yeah, or sometimes we our, her, our head is hurting because we spend so much time in using the computer, cell phone, or iPad. It's because of the radiation, Bruce. Yeah, so you try to drink more water and let's see if that works or not. Anyway, did you have your dinner already, Bruce? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, great. What did you eat for your dinner? Uh, the next time. <sighs> what? Uh, what? I just think in my heart is heart is so hard. Ah uh, yes. Okay, so I'm sorry to hear that one. I hope that you'll get better soon. Anyway, Bruce, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so now we are in unit eight, the hottest and coldest places. Do you know the hottest and coldest places in the world? Uh, yes. Okay, nice. What is the hottest place in the world? Uh, we we'll have the Do you know? No. Okay, so we will find out later the hottest and coldest places in the world. So now, Bruce, I want you uh, to tell me what is the weather today in your place? It's great. Okay, can you please name all kinds of weather that you know? What? Can you please name all kinds of weather that you know? Rainy, sunny, cloudy. Very good. Okay, so now let's learn the words from our vocabulary. Okay, so we have here rain. Can you please look at the picture you read and repeat? Rain. Rain. Very good. Okay, next, snow. Snow. And a rainbow. Look at the rainbow, Bruce. How many colors can you see in a rainbow? Uh, I can see the sex. Okay, so there are? Seven colors of rainbow. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let me let me see. Let me um count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wow, I'm sorry. So there are six. You are correct, Bruce. Okay, so what is your favorite weather? The snow. Snow. Why do you like snow? Because I can play play the snow. Okay, very good. So now, can you please read the next words we have? Sun. Wind. A wind. Sun. Sun. Moon. Moon. Very good. So, Bruce, what 
part of day can you see a sun? Is it during the day or during the night? During the night. Sun. Sun. Can you see a sun during the night? Yeah, uh, no. No. Okay, when can you see a sun? Is it in the morning or in the evening? In the morning. Okay, great. So what about the moon? Moon. It's in the, it's in the night. Okay, at night. Very good. So now, Bruce, I want you to find sentence, sentence pairs about different kinds of weather. So you color the bubbles. If it is snow, you color that one purple. If it is rain, let's color it blue. And if it's wind, let's color it green. Then if it's rainbow, pink, moon for yellow, and sun is red. So example, I'm white. So what I'm color what? is, what weather is white? That is snow. What is the color of snow again? White. It's purple. What is, okay, so yes, you are correct. Snow is white. But in here, if the weather is snow, you color it purple. Okay, so I'm white. What weather is white? So yes, that is snow. So that's why it is purple. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now how about this one? I make the leaves, the leaves fall from trees. What is that? Uh. <sighs> is that snow, rain, wind? Rainbow, moon, or sun? Uh, what? Okay, so here it is. Can you please read this one? Uh, yeah. I make... I... I make... The leaves. I make the leaves. Oh. I make the leaves for some tree. Okay, so what weather can make the leaves fall from trees? Is that snow, rain, wind, rainbow, moon, or sun? Uh, sun. Sun? Can sun make the leaves fall from trees? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is not a sun. This is... um. Wait a minute. This is... I make the leaves fall from trees. This is green, which is the wind. The wind can make the leaves fall from trees. So now... Can you please find the other pair of wind? Example. This one, Bruce. I only fall on really, really cold days. So they are snow. Okay, they are purple because they are snow. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so how about wind? Can you please tell me? Which is wind? Can you please read wind? wind? What is the sentence pair of wind? Uh, wind, wind. Uh, I am not a big cloud, bro. Okay. This is, I make, what did you say? Uh, I make. K. 
Can I say your question again? Okay, so what is the pair of this sentence which it, which describes a wind? Oh, the which wind. sentence describes a wind? <sighs> okay, here it is, Bruce. Wait a minute. Uh, I come from gray clouds. Very good. Oh, wind. Let's check. This is this one. You want me when you go sailing. Okay. How about this one, Bruce? What is this? I can change from things from dry to wet. Uh, is the Okay, here it is. I can change things from dry to wet. What weather am I? I can change things from dry to wet. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I can change things from Mm, cloud. Okay, so this is rain. Rain. The rain can change things from dry to wet. Okay, so what is the sentence pair of rain? Which sentence describes rain? Which sentence describes rain? Uh, I'm uh, from grey clouds. Okay, very good. I come from grey clouds. Okay, how about this one, Bruce? You only see me when the sun's behind you. What is this? You only see me when the sun's behind you. What am I? Uh, sun. Uh, no, it's the uh, sunny. Okay, so this is pink. It is the moon. I know the rainbow. It is the rainbow. Yeah, you can see a rainbow when the sun is behind you. Okay, so now, which sentence describes a rainbow? Which sentence describes a rainbow? Uh... It's the mm. I am not big and wrong. Rainbow? 
Yeah. Do you know rainbow? I know. Okay. So which sentence describes a rainbow? This one, I'm hot, big and round. This is not a rainbow. Try again. Uh, it's round. What is it? No, you can't see me at night. Okay. So this is look carefully to see my seven colors or six colors. Okay. So now, what is this? I come out when you go to bed. What can you see uh, at night? when you go to bed night yes what can you see at night when you go to bed mm. when you see uh when you see me can see star too okay star is that moon or sun I come out when you go to bed. Okay, that's moon. Very good. So now, which sentence describes a moon? Which uh, sentence describes a moon? It has a... I'm not big and wrong. Okay. So this is moon. 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 When you see me, you can see stars too. Okay. How about this one? I'm hot, big, and round. What is this? Is that a moon? Uh, yeah. Okay, that is not a moon, it is a sun. How about this one, sun. Bruce? No, you can't see me at night. What is this? No, you can't see me at night. Yes, it has a... You can't see me at night. Okay, so this is a moon, a sun, sun. Sun. Okay, so do you have any question about this one, Bruce? No. Okay, so let's proceed with this one. Can you please read this? We use... We use the superlative. Can you please use? I Can you please read? Mm. We use the superlative to uh, teach her what that. I don't know. Okay, you say superlative. Superlative. To highlight. To highlight. A person, a person, or, or thing, a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna read this one, Bruce. Wait a minute. 
we use the superlative to highlight a person or thing between two or more. If the adjective is short, we add est to the adjective. If the adjective is long, we use most before the adjective. We use the before superlatives, okay? Okay. Um, if the adjective is long. So listen to this one. This is a relative that I had a person or thing between two or more if that it is short here. Okay. Yes. So now Look at this one. This is an example of superlative sentence. Rachel is the most beautiful person in this room. So now, Bruce, in that sentence, what is the adjective? What is the adjective? <sighs> Uh, is the be beautiful? Very good, beautiful, great job. Okay, so again, when you say adjective, we use this. This is a word to use to describe a person. Okay, just like beautiful. So now, since the adjective beautiful is long, okay, we use most okay and we put the most beautiful do you understand yes okay so how about this one rose is the tallest man in my class so now what is the adjective the adjective is uh, uh, Mm. Super relative. This one example. This sentence: Rose is the tallest. Tallest. Man. Okay, tallest. Very good. Great job. So now, Bruce, we use superlative adjective if we are comparing a person to a group. If we compare many people. Three to many people, three or more people, okay? Okay. So now, do you have any question? No, uh, okay. I don't have the question now. Okay, so now here, Bruce, I want you to complete the sentences with words from the box. So look at number one. That is an example. There's lots of ice in Antarctica. It is the coldest place in the world. So, yeah. okay. How about number two? Can you please read and tell me your answer? Uh, the sun is tall in a uh, winter, it rains a lot. Okay, the tallest, say that again. What's your answer? The, <sighs> the sun is. Okay, sunniest. I will sunniest, sunniest. Okay, so okay. the answer is the wettest town is in India. It rains there a lot. So when you say rain, it's not, you cannot see a sun when it is raining. Of course, it is wet. How about number three, Bruce? Can you please read Africa? Africa. 
Afrika ist da. Uh, uh, Look at picture number three. Next part of oh no, Africa is. You are correct already. Africa is the sunniest. The sunniest part of the world. Very good. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Sunniest or hottest. How about number Hot. four? What's your answer in number four? Please read number four, Bruce. Uh, so the windiest place is uh windy windiest place is and her trust too. The wind the is really strong. Okay, the windiest. Very the windiest. Good. Great job. The windiest place is Antarctica. Can you please say Antarctica? Antarctica. 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 Okay. How about number five? Please read in Arizona. Uh, yes. Please read number five. Number five is in uh in uh, and uh, a wall and sunny is the hottest place the USA. Okay. In Arizona, it's always dry and sunny. It's the driest place in the USA. Driest. Okay. So now, Bruce, I'm going to ask you a question. What is the coldest place in the world? Coldest. Uh, is a uh, you can see the answer on the screen. Uh, Question. What is the coldest place in the world? Uh, it's uh, Canada. Okay. So, wait a minute. I will translate. The answer is on the screen. What is the coldest place in the world? USA. Uh, okay, read carefully. Indian, India, it's not India because it is the wettest. What is the coldest oh. place in the world? Um. Coldest. Okay, so the answer is Antarctica. There's Antarctica. lots of ice in Antarctica. It is the coldest place in the world. Okay, so yeah. for this one, Bruce, do you have any question? No. Okay, so that's all for tonight. Since it's already time, we will just end here so that you can also 
relax, and have rest. So that's all for tonight, Bruce. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for joining my class. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Get all soon.